Number 1. Citadel Park Citadel Park was created in the 19th century and it's considered the greenest oasis in Barcelona. This historical garden stretches across 280,000 square meters and it includes the city zoo, the Catalan parliament, a small lake, a large fountain and museums. Don't miss also the Arc de Triomphe, which is very close to the park and was built as the main access gate for the 1888 Barcelona World Fair. Number 2. La Barceloneta La Barceloneta is a neighborhood in the old city of Barcelona. It is now most famous for its sandy beach and numerous restaurants and nightclubs along the boardwalk. Barcelona has some great sand beaches but can get very crowded in the summertime. It's also home to Barcelona's most iconic luxury 5-star W hotel that mimics the shape of the sail. Number 3. Park Güell. The Park Güell is a public park full of gardens and architectonic elements located on Carmel Hill. With urbanization in mind, Eusebi Güell assigned the design of the park to Spanish architect Antoni Gaudí. The park was built between 1900 and 1914 and was officially opened as a public park 12 years later. In 1984, UNESCO declared the park a World Heritage Site under works of Antoni Gaudí. Part of the park is free, but if you want to sit on the long curved mosaic bench in the form of a sea serpent or see the famous lucky lizard, you need to pay a small fee. Number 4. Sagrada Familia Sagrada Familia is a large unfinished Roman Catholic church. The construction of Sagrada Familia started in 1882 under architect Francisco de Paula de Villar. One year later, Villar resigned and Gaudí took over as chief architect combining Gothic and curvilinear Art Nouveau forms. The church is not yet completed and it's planned to be finished by 2026. Together with six other Gaudí buildings in Barcelona, part of La Sagrada Familia is a UNESCO World Heritage Site as well. Be prepared to wait in a long line outside Sagrada Familia if you want to see inside. You can skip the line by getting the tickets online. Number 5. Gothic Quarter Gothic Quarter is the center of the old city of Barcelona. The quarter covers the oldest parts of the city and includes the remains of the city's Roman wall and several notable medieval landmarks. It consists of a labyrinth street plan with numerous small streets opening out into squares. Despite its name, several landmark Gothic buildings in the neighborhood do not date back to the Middle Ages but to the late 19th and early 20th century. Number 6. La Rambla. La Rambla is a 1.2 km long crowded street in central Barcelona. It was originally a sewage filled stream bed, usually dry, but an important drain for the heavy rainwater flowing from the hills during spring and autumn, with thousands of tourists wandering around and soaking up the atmosphere. La Rambla is one of Barcelona's main attractions. However, the boulevard is also infamous for thieves and scammers. In fact, Barcelona is usually called pickpocket capital of the world. Number 7. La Boqueria Market La Boqueria is a large public market in the old city district of Barcelona and one of the city's main tourist landmarks with an entrance from La Rambla. The first mansion of the Boqueria Market in Barcelona dates to year 1217. The current name is believed to derive from the Catalan word boc, meaning goat, therefore a boqueria would be a place where goat meat is sold. Try some fresh fruits or any other authentic treat from the market. Number 8. Catalonia Square. Catalonia Square is a large square in central Barcelona that is generally considered to be both its city center and the place where the old city and the 19th century built in Chample meet. Some of the city's most important streets and avenues meet at the Catalonia Square. It is especially known for its fountains and statues, 
its proximity to some of Barcelona's most popular attractions and the flock of pigeons that gather in the center. Number 9. The Magic Fountain The fountain is situated below the Palau Nacional on the Montjuic mountain and near the Plaza de España. The fountain, like most of the surrounding developments, was constructed for the 1929 Barcelona International Exposition. The first show took place on May 19 the same year, the day before the start of the exposition. The fountain was badly damaged in the Spanish Civil War and did not operate until 1955. In the 1980s, music was incorporated with the light show and the fountain, along with the Museo Nacional, was completely restored prior to the 1992 Summer Olympics held at the Manjuic. Check the description for the link to the timetable of the fountain light show. Number 10. Museums and Exhibitions In Barcelona, there are numerous remarkable museums and exhibitions. We visited the CCCB, where we experienced an exhibition called After the End of the World. It is an art installation that is, amongst other things, demonstrating our society's responsibility to the generations who will be born and growing up in the 21st century. Unforgettable experience. Of course, there are plenty other sites to see and things to do in Barcelona. For example, Casa Milà that was also designed by Gaudí. Montjuic Castle with an amazing view towards the city. The largest football stadium in Europe and the second biggest in the world, Camp Nou. Tibidabo, a mountain overlooking Barcelona featuring a church and an amusement park. The Columbus Monument, built in 1888, a world exposition honoring Christopher Columbus's first voyage to the Americas, and many more. We created a Google map with all the suggestions. The link is in the description.